Good morning. We are reading the last part of the story Cause Hunting, uh, which is following Mowgli uh, today. So we left off um, in the midst of the fighting between the monkeys and several of the animals who are coming to Mowgli's defense, which include Baloo, Bagheera, Ka, um, and the other snakes as well. Uh, so all of them are, um, yeah, they're in the cold layers, this abandoned temple and city surrounding it that the monkeys live in. So that's where we're picking up. Um, Bagheera is calling out for Ka's help because he had left the town and let's see if he comes back. Now Ka had only just worked his way over the west wall. By the way, this is page 61 if you're following along, 61. Ka had only just worked his way over the west wall, landing with a wrench that dislodged a coping stone into the ditch. He had no intention of losing any advantage of the ground, and he coiled and uncoiled himself once or twice to be sure that every foot of his long body was in working order. All that while, the fight with Baloo went on, and the monkeys yelled in the tank around Bagheera, and Mang the bat, flying to and fro, carried the news of the great battle over the jungle. So the bat is telling the rest of the jungle what's happening. Till even Hathi the wild elephant trumpeted the elephants coming to his rescue. And we there are other stories in the jungle that follow the elephants more. And far away, scattered bands of the monkey folk woke and came leaping along the tree roads to help their comrades in the cold lairs. So all the people who are trying to support Mowgli, including the elephants, are coming, but also more monkeys are coming to help the monkeys in the cold lairs. And the noise of the fight roused all the day birds for miles round. Then Ka came straight, quickly, and anxious to kill, the monkeys that is. The fighting strength of a python is in the driving blow of his head, backed by all the strength and weight of his body. This python is huge. Remember, he could keep up with Bagheera, um, but his strength is in the head with all of the force of the body um, going along with it. If you can imagine a lance or a battering ram, think of two knights fighting on horseback, or a hammer weighing nearly a half a ton, driven by a cool, quiet mind living in the handle of it. Think of like Thor's hand hammer from uh, our Norse mythology. Um, you can roughly imagine what Ka was like when he fought. Okay, so something like that battering ram or a lance or a hammer with all of that force at the head. That's like what Ka is. A python four or feet, sorry, four or five feet long can knock a man, man down if he hits him fairly in the chest. And Ka was 30 feet long. So a four or five foot long one could still knock a person over, but Ka is 30 feet. And his first stroke was delivered into the heart of the crowd round Baloo. He was sent home with shut mouth and silence and there was no need of a second. The monkey scattered with cries of Ka, it's Ka, run, run. So they are terrified as they should be. Generations of monkeys had been scared into good behavior by the stories their elders told them of Ka, the night thief, they called him, who could slip along the branches as quietly as moss grows and steal away the strongest monkeys that ever lived. Of old Ka, who could make himself look so like a dead branch or a rotten stump that the wisest were deceived. Ah, oh, so that's nice. He is quiet and very stealthy and they can't tell um, the difference between him and a branch if he stays still um, until the branch caught them. So he is definitely someone Baloo, Bagheera, and Mowgli want on their side. Ka was everything that the monkeys feared in the jungle, for none of them knew the limits of his power. None of them could look him in the face, and none had ever come alive out of his hug. Remember, he's a constrictor, so that's how he kills his prey. And so they ran, stammering with terror, to the walls and the roofs of the houses. And Baloo drew a 
um, deep breath of relief. His fur was much thicker than Bagheera's, but he had suffered sorely in the fight. Then Ka opened his mouth for the first time and spoke one long hissing word. And the faraway monkeys, hurrying to the defense of the cold layers, stayed where they were, cowering, till the loaded branches bent and crackled under them. The monkeys on the walls in the empty houses stopped their cries, and in the stillness that fell upon the city, Mowgli heard Bagheera shaking his wet sides as he came up from the tank. Then the clamor broke out again. The monkeys leaped higher up the walls. They clung round the necks of the big stone idols and shrieked as they skipped along the battlements, while Mowgli, dancing in the summer house, put his eye to the screen work and hooted old owl fashion between his front teeth to show his derision and contempt. Get the man cub out of the trap. I can do no more, Bagheera gasped. Let us take the man cub and go. They may attack again. The gear is ready to leave. They will not move till I order them. Stay you so, Ka hissed. And the city was silent once more. Doesn't matter how many monkeys there are, they are all terrified of Ka. I could not come before, brother, but I think I heard the call. This is to Bagheera, he said this. I, I may have cried out in the battle, Bagheera answered. He's a little hesitant to say that because Bagheera is a python, a really powerful animal. So he kind of doesn't like the idea that he relied on Ka, but they all need each other. They need support. Baloo, art thou hurt? Bagheera asked. I am not sure that they have not pulled me into a hundred little bearlings said Baloo gravely, shaking one leg after the other. He's saying, I'm in a million little pieces. Wow, I am sore. Ka, we owe thee, I think, our lives, Bagheera and I. Ka said, no matter, where is the manling? Here, in a trap, I cannot climb out, cried Mowgli. I'm at the top of page 64, by the way. The curve of the broken dome was above his head. Take him away. He dances like Mal the Peacock. He will crush our young, said the cobras inside. So they're worried that Mowgli is going to step on the baby snakes and kill them. Ha, said Ka with a chuckle. He has friends everywhere, this manling. Stand back, manling, and hide you, O oh poison people. I break down the wall. Ka is coming to everybody's rescue. He is going to break in, and he says, Mowgli, just stay right there until I break through the wall and all of you snakes go to the sides so that nobody steps on you and you don't get hurt. Now Ka looked carefully till he found a discolored crack in the marble tracery showing a weak spot, made two or three light taps with his head to get the distance, and then lifting up six feet of his body clear of the ground, sent home half a dozen full power smashing blows, nose first. The screen work broke and fell away in a cloud of dust and rubbish and Mowgli leaped through the opening and flung himself between Baloo and Bagheera, an arm round each big neck. Art thou hurt? said Baloo, hugging him softly. I am sore, hungry, and not a little bruised, but oh, they have handled you grievously, my brothers. Ye bleed. So Mowgli's hurt, but he's concerned about them, Baloo and Bagheera. Others also, said Bagheera licking his lips and looking at the monkey dead on the terrace and round the tank. It is nothing, it is nothing if thou art safe. Oh, my pride of all little frogs, whimpered Baloo. Of that we shall judge later, said Bagheera in a dry voice that Mowgli did not at all like. But here is Ka, to whom we owe the battle and thou owest thy life. Thank him according to our customs, Mowgli, he says. Top of page 66, by the way. Now Mowgli turned and saw the great python's head swaying a foot above his own. So this is the manling, said Ka. Very soft is his skin, and he is not so unlike the bander log. Have a care, manling, that I do not mistake thee for a monkey some twilight when I have newly changed my coat. But we be of one blood, you and I, Mowgli answered. 
I take my life from thee tonight. My kill shall be thy kill if ever thou art hungry, O Ka. So Mowgli is doing the right thing here. He's saying, we are a team, you and I. We're on the same side. And I owe you my life. And so if I hunt anything tonight, it is yours. All thanks, little brother, said Ka, though his eyes twinkled. And what may so bold a hunter kill? I ask that I may follow when next he goes abroad. Mowgli says, I kill nothing. I'm too little. But I drive goats towards such as can use them. When thou art empty, come to me and see if I speak the truth. Empty meaning, meaning hungry. So he says, I will definitely lead the goats your way so that you can eat them. I have some skill in these. He held out his hands. That's unique for animals. He uh, um, has hands and the intellect to be able to do this. And if ever thou art in a trap, I may pay the debt which I owe to thee, to Bagheera and to Baloo here. Good hunting to ye all, my masters. Well said, growled Baloo. For Mowgli had returned, thanks, very prettily. He did a good job. He did just as he was taught. The python dropped his head lightly for a minute on Mowgli's shoulder. A brave heart and a courteous tongue, said he. They shall carry thee far through the jungle, manly. But now go hence quickly with thy friends. Go and sleep, for the moon sets, and what follows it is not well that thou shouldst see. Hmm. Now the moon was sinking behind the hills and the lines of trembling monkeys huddled together on the walls and battlements looked like, um, and battlements looked like ragged, sh uh, shaky fringes of things. Baloo went down to the tank for a drink and Bagheera began to put his fur in order as Ka glided out into the center of the terrace and brought his jaws together with a ringing snap that drew all the monkey's eyes upon him. The moon sets, he said. Is there yet light to see? From the walls came a moan like a wind in the treetops. We see, O Ka. Good. Now begins the dance. The dance of the hunger of Ka. Sit still and watch. So Ka turned twice or thrice in a big circle, weaving his head from right to left. Then he began making loops and figures of eight with his body and soft oozy triangles that melted into squares and five-sided figures. And he coiled mounds, never resting, never hurrying, and never stopping his low humming song. So he's doing the little dance, although he's, remember, a 30 foot long python. So um, this is called the dance of the hunger of Ka. This is what he does before he strikes, before he hunts. It grew darker and darker till at last the dragging, shifting coils disappeared, but they could hear the rustle of the scales. Baloo and Bagheera stood as still as stone, growling in their throats, their neck hair bristling, and Mowgli watched and wondered. Bender logs, said the voice of Ka at last. Can ye stir foot or hand without my order? Speak. Without thy order, we cannot stir foot or hand, O Ka, the Vanderlog replied. So they are at his mercy. They're going to do whatever he says. Good, Ka says. Come all one pace closer to me. Sounds like mother may I. <laughs> the lines of the monkeys swayed forward helpless, helplessly. And Baloo and Bagheera took one stiff step forward with them. So even Baloo and Bagheera, they're mesmerized by this dance. They're entranced by it. And so they kind of have to move forward. If you've seen the movie, um, I think, actually, Nethra, you were talking about this if you're watching. Uh, it's uh, the snake cause eyes um, that are hypnotizing to the other animals. But in this case, it's the dance that's hypnotizing. Closer, hissed Ka, and they all moved again. Now Mowgli laid his hands on Baloo and Bagheera to get them away, and the two great be beasts started as though they had been waked from a dream. So all of a the sudden, they're woken up out of it. Mowgli is the only one who wasn't entranced by it. And so he gets them away so that Ka doesn't hunt them. 
Keep thy hand on my shoulder, Bagheera whispered. Keep it there, or I must go back, must go back to Ka. Ah! It is only old Ka making circles on the dust, said Mowgli. Let us go. And the three slipped off through a gap in the walls of the jungle. To the jungle, sorry. Woof, said Baloo, when he stood under the still trees again. Never more will I make an ally of Ka. And he shook himself all over. So he's thinking, I almost got killed by him because I was so hypnotized by what he was doing. I was going closer. But Baloo says, um, or sorry, Bagheera says, he knows more than we, said Bagheera trembling. In a little time, had I stayed, I should have walked down his throat. Many will walk by that road before the moon rises again, said Baloo. He will have good hunting after his own fashion. But what was the meaning of it all? Said Mowgli, who did not know anything of a python's powers of fascination. I saw no more than a big snake making foolish circles till the dark came, and his nose was all sore. Ho, ho. Mowgli, said Bagheera angrily, his nose was sore on thy account. Remember that it's his head that leads, and that was because he was going into the city to save Mowgli. But Mowgli didn't know that. As my ears and sides and paws and Baloo's necks and shoulders are bitten on thy account, neither Baloo nor Bagheera will be able to hunt with pleasure for many days. It is nothing, said Baloo. We have the man cub again. That's what matters to him. True, but he has cost us heavily in time, which might have been spent in good hunting, and wounds and hair. I am half plucked along my back, and last of all, in honor. For remember, Mowgli, I, who am the Black Panther, was forced to call upon Ka for protection, and Baloo and I were both made stupid as little birds by the hunger dance. All this, man cub, came of thy playing with the bander log. So what were some of the results of Mowgli going off with the monkeys? Well, Ka, Baloo, and Bagheera were all badly hurt. I also feel like they were humiliated because they um, had to ask for Ka's help. And then they almost got hypnotized and went along with the dance and were eaten by him almost. So a lot of negative consequences to Mowgli going off to play with these people, these um, monkey people that he knew he wasn't supposed to play with. True, it is true, said Mowgli sorrowfully. I am an evil man cub and my stomach is sad in me. <laughs> what says the law of the jungle, Baloo? Baloo did not wish to bring Mowgli into any more trouble, but he could not tamper with the law, so he mumbled. Sorrow never stays punishment, meaning just because you feel bad doesn't mean you still won't have a punishment. But remember, Bagheera, he is very little. I will remember, but he has done mischief and blows must be dealt now. Mowgli, has thou anything to say? Nothing, he said. I have done wrong. Baloo and thou are art wounded. It is just. So Bagheera gave him half a dozen love taps, like a spanking kind of. From a panther's point of view, they would hardly have waked one of their own cup, one of his own cups. But for a seven-year-old boy, human boy, they amounted to as severe a beating as you could wish to avoid. When it was all over, Mowgli sneezed and picked himself up without a word. Now, said Bagheera, jump on my back, little brother, and we will go home. Go home. One of the beauties of jungle law is that punishment settles all scores. There is no nagging afterwards. That's really nice. So he is punished for having gone on, uh, gone off and playing with the monkeys and then almost having killed Baloo and Bagheera um, as a result of that as well. However, now that he took the punishment and he showed that he was sorry, they're not going to bring it up again. They're just going to keep moving forward. Mowgli laid his head down on Bagheera's back um, and slept so deeply that he never waked when he was put down by Mother Wolf's side in the home cave. Okay, so that's the end of cause hunting. Um, hopefully he learned his lesson. It seems like he will definitely not ever be with the monkeys again. So before we go, 
there is a little poem called Road Song of the Banderlog to read. Here we go in a flung festoon, halfway up to the jealous moon. Don't you envy our pranceful bands? Don't you wish you had extra hands? Wouldn't you like if your tails were so curved in the shape of a cupid's bow? Now you're angry, but never mind. Brother, thy tails, tail hangs down behind. Here we sit in a branchy row, thinking of beautiful things we know, dreaming of deeds that we mean to do, all complete in a minute or two, something noble and grand and good, won by merely wishing we could. Now we're going to, never mind, brother, thy tail hangs down behind. All of the talk we ever had heard, uttered by bat or beast or bird, hide or fin or scale or feather, jabber it quickly and all together. Excellent, wonderful, once again, now we are talking just like men. Let's pretend we are, never mind. Brother, thy tail hungs, hangs down behind. This is the way of the monkey kind. Then join our leaping line, lines that skimfish through the pines, that rocket by where, light and high, the wild grape swings. By the rubbish in our wake and the noble noise we make, be sure, be sure, we're going to do some splendid things. So that's the road song of the Banderlog. We know they want to be like humans. They think that they are great and grand and they have all of these wonderful things they'll do, but they're not self-aware. They're not actually seeing that they don't do anything good in a value because they get distracted and move on to the next thing, right? These monkeys. So that's why I kept saying, brother, thy tail hangs down behind. You might kind of look like a human, but you've got a tail there. You are not actually doing good things like humans would do. Okay, that is the end of cause hunting. Next week, we will read a story called Tiger, Tiger. Who do you think that's gonna be about? The return of Shere Khan, who we saw at the beginning of the story. So we'll get to Shere Khan in Tiger, Tiger next week. And that's the last of the Mowgli stories. So there's just three. So we've heard about Mowgli's upbringing, um, and then him eventually leaving the wolf pack. Um, and then about this encounter with Blue and Bagheera and Ka. Um, that whole story is my personal favorite. But this next one is really good too. Um, this one is going to be about the ending of the story, really. So I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.